Welcome to the Senate Minute. I'm your host, Jesse Cordray. New to the Senate Minute, the Senate Minute is a short audio brief that includes commentary from members of the Indiana Senate Majority Caucus. In this edition of the Senate Minute, listeners will hear from State Senator Gene Lysing. Together, we discuss an important topic facing Indiana's agriculture industry and a measure she authored that could aid in the event of a natural disaster. The taping occurred earlier this week. Audio segment value may vary. Can we start with a little bit of the formality of um, your name and title? State Senator Jean Lysing. I represent Senate District 42, which includes seven rural counties. It includes all of Rush County, as well as parts of Shelby, Henry, Fayette, Franklin, Ripley, and Decatur. Senator Lysing authored Senate Enrolled Act 350 this session, which, if signed into law, would allow the Indiana Board of Animal Health to purchase insurance policies to cover damages to the state related to an animal disease incident with dramatic loss. Senator Lysing, can you give me some background information on this legislation? Yeah, some folks came to me that uh, were representing uh, a portion of the insurance industry. Uh, They were interested in possibly providing a product to our state board of animal health, uh, a product that would really be <clears throat> backed by the Lloyds of London, um, in regard to losses the state could occur if there was a devastating uh, animal disease outbreak. Examples of that um, would be, for instance, a few years ago, there was something called avian flu that broke in southwestern Indiana, and this would have infected the entire poultry industry, chickens, ducks, turkeys, and many people don't realize it, but there are, we are very high uh, rated in the poultry industry. And so um, when the avian flu hit, the Board of Animal Health had to go in and actually um, do away with several uh, uh, chickens, turkeys, whatever, uh, because that's the only way to stop the spread of the avian flu. So in that case, the federal government did help subsidize uh, the state for some of the cost of of, uh, killing uh, this poultry and then disposing of it, but um, there was still a loss to the state. Now, that was taken care of, right? But the concerns are, in the future, uh, there are other diseases that could happen. So the bill does not require them to purchase. There would have to be money probably put in their budget for them to do so. But I think it brings to the attention of people here the significance to the agricultural industry in Indiana and to the, the ramifications to the state of Indiana if in fact one of these horrible uh, animal diseases would break in Indiana. Most legislators didn't even realize that our various departments in the state can't just go buy insurance unless we give them legislative approval. Thank you, Senator Lysing. Senate Enrolled Act 350 has passed both chambers unanimously and will now be considered by Governor Holcomb. If signed into law, this measure will take effect July 1st of this year. Thank you for listening. You can subscribe to the Senate Minute on your podcast app or listen at indianasenaterepublicans.com. Click on Media Room and then click the podcast button and listen in. You may also find the Senate Minute on social media when you follow Indiana Senate Republicans on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Indiana Senate GOP, IN Senate Republicans, and IN Senate GOP. I'm your host, Jesse Cordray. Have a great week.